First, the headlines. Mary Combe enters Olympic pre-quarters. Youth Affairs and Sports Minister congratulates Mary Combe on winning her first bout. Hawal Commando arrested two individuals along with contraband drugs. And Typhoon Infa made landfall in the city of Zhilshan in China. Hello and good evening. Welcome to Elite TV English News. This is Utpala Konsam. Before giving you the news, we request you to follow the SOP given by the government. Wear face masks when out in public, wash hands regularly and maintain a minimum of six feet between one person and another. LETV requests you to get vaccinated in time to protect ourselves and from this virus and play your part in the fight against COVID-19. Now the news in detail. Six times boxing world champion MC Mary Combe won her first bout and is preparing for pre-quarter final for boxing event in the Tokyo Olympic Games 2020. She defeated Miguelina Hernandez Garcia of Dominican Republic in the 51 kg flightweight women category 4 is to 1. The Dominican Republic boxer Mary Combe went up against is a bronze medalist in Pan America Games. Manipur Youth Affairs and Sports Minister Litpao Haukep congratulated Mary Combe on winning her first bout entering the first quarterfinals of the Tokyo Olympic Games 2020. The minister further wished for her success at the Olympic Games and said the people of Manipur is eagerly waiting for her to bring home the glory. She also expressed his deep belief that Mary Combe will bring Manipur to the world stage again in the future with her hard work. Congratulations, Mary. Mary Com India, in particular Manipur, uh, I, I would like to congratulate for winning the first bout and uh, hoping the same performance and even better and come back with flying colors. We are waiting for you here mm -hmm. in our country, in our state and convey my best for your future endeavor. Two individuals were arrested for being in possession of drugs by Thawal Commando in a frisking and checking at the Waitho outpost on National Highway 102, Thawal District, yesterday. They were identified as Mohammed Sabir Khan, 33, son of Mohammed Joynul Abuddin from Lilong Turen Ahanbil Kalaikhong Makha and Mohammed Nawaz Sharif, 22, son of Mohammed Abdul from Lilong Lehaukhong Laumanga. According to information from police, a team led by OC of CDO Thaubal and Tikin under the supervision of SP Thaubal, Jogesh Chandra Haubijam, IPS and additional SP OPS, Sachidananda Soibam carried out the checking after a tip-off on drugs being transported along the highway into Thaubal. The two arrested individuals came in a silver Alto car bearing registration number MNO7D2511 transporting what is speculated to be 970 pieces of Simplex Plus covered in black polythene bag inside an LED lamp box. The arrestees along with the seized drugs have been handed over to Thaubal police station for further necessary actions, it added. Kakching Assembly Constituency MLA Mayang Lambam Rameshwar instructed the construction, inspected the construction of Kakching Wairi Ibudho Kamlangba's house of worship today. Speaking to media persons, he expressed the need to preserve the tradition and cultures passed down to us by our ancestors and have a deeper understanding of our roots. The society that claims to be developed with no respect for their culture and tradition is not one that is developed, he continued. Emily Rameshwar further said the construction of the Ibuda Ubindo House of Worship will be completed this year itself. <laughs> Look at that. Is how is how the whole from Kauva, I tradition culture Kauva se. So we ganu Western ki civilization the laiva parasing so koi tambadar karta hai. Adubu adu dagi hai na luvadi 
ai isa isa gi horok pham kaudaba ai gi culture tradition yokar pase sina maru ni hai na hojikan gi hogalai ba na sing da youngster sing da ina pakom asi thamjari General Secretary of KG Moirang Kendra Apunbal Lop Kemkal H. Somikanta said that the group will start an initiative to provide essential items to around 1,000 families of Moirang that are struggling as their means of livelihood have been affected by COVID-19 as well as the total curfew announced by the state government in a press conference at Moirang today. He further said the leaders of the state have provided food and other essential items to containment zones. During the curfew, the daily workers who already struggled to feed their families have been left on their own. To save them from hunger and provide a bit of help, Kim Kahl has started this initiative, he added. The press conference was attended by advisor of Kim Kahl, Y. Surjit Kuman, VP Y. Sham, Joint Secretary S. Boy, Publicity Secretary P. H. Shamjai, Treasurer S. Bonson and other important members. Tarawan mung mga chara tanbo singa sida ako gi kiam kal gi may kaide gi saan thano program yan thokpo gi programa mas sinza bni high level program mas sida ako gi iram da moirang mas sida library wa ahal laman maru mapang leader intelligence kaya nasu support to view cooperation view aduga ako gi program mas sibu su mapung pan view hawjik mayam na covid test tobo covid test tobo ay nadiyam kana tauri adubo covid test tobo dusu apabat apabat amani adubo sa kum sa mutang test tobo hawjik sa kum kang mo kaya amalay re मरम मधुना मधु की आवाज़ बहुत ऊर्मतम दा ऐ कोई केम काल ना मशी की प्रोग्राम से पैखत सबनी सेफ़ फॉर शॉर्ट ब्रेक सी यू राइट बैक तमुआ कई नौ लोग संदर्भ अस खरांगन ऐसा सी ना हार गो कई नौ शिवो कई शिपु नौ शिवो है मा कोविड की वैक्सीन कब थोस है ना अगर आधुनिक ना है नहीं दुदी ऐ हक्षण के शुद्ध ऐ का पो नती हक्षण Isana hanya seksel hawa nafas teruk. Kap tahu pun nafas tak berapa. Kau yah le, seksel mana yang dungkap puru? Aik apa? As, kongdre dah. Kamu yang mana dulu kongdre? Kau le, aduh deh, jalur kiki. Bunga, mama yang dah kapu kiko, papa angler mo. Covid-19, laisat asli ngak tahu nampak kita mak. Covid ki vaksin kapana, laisat asli kembali lain apa, lain apa laisat sing dekik ngak tahu sebab kami. Masih dana tena, laisat asli nasi sangat dana nampak kita mak. Matam matam ki, kerajaan api dapat sana kagum sing, aikoi ngak masih minarasi. Covid apps terus start topi dina, aduom su, suksoi suai dina, vaksin asli kapto piu. Covid ki vaksin kapto puna, covid lain apa, iram dambu eh minarasi. Aikoi vaksin kapresi. Welcome back. You're watching LETV English News. A COVID-19 mass vaccination program was held today at Hiang Thang Palak in Imphal West District, organized by Hiang Thang Palak Youth Development Club, HPYDC Imphal West District Administration, and Imphal West Medical Team as part of the campaign to vaccinate the entire Manipur. Above 200 people were vaccinated today at the program. Speaking to media persons, SDC Hyang Thang Hoi Hoi Wai Fei, who was at the vaccination program, expressed her appreciation to members of HPYDC and ASHA workers for voluntarily participating in the fight against COVID-19. She also added that 90% of the residents of Hyang Thang Palak village have been vaccinated. HPYDC General Secretary Thongkom Mayum Salman Khan said, that getting vaccinated is our only weapon to defeat COVID-19 and urge the people to get vaccinated in time without hesitation. Imphal West District VDF Welfare Association expressed the gratitude to Imphal West District SP Dr. S. Ibomcha for giving 1,000 N95 face masks to the VDF who are carrying out their duty as one of the COVID-19 frontline warriors. The association further said that the state government and the police department have not provided any kind of masks to the VDFs who are working tirelessly day and, day and night in both the first and second wave of the pandemic. This help is the first help the VDFs have got and the association wished Dr. S. Ibomcha to be able to give help in the future to many. 
The face mask will be distributed to the VDF personnel stationed in Greater Imphal in the first phase tomorrow and to the others in subsequent phases, the association informed. Imphal West VDF Welfare Association appealed to the VDF to carry out their responsibility under strict discipline following the government SOP. Forty third Assam Rifle Moray Battalion held a mass tree plantation drive in different areas of Moray, planting 1,500 fr fruit bearing trees. Staff of Moray Forest Department also participated in the program. The mass tree plantation initially started starting from the Assam Rifle Camp KLP near Imphal Moray Road, planted the trees in compounds of Gova Jung Village, Jehovah Children Home, and Adulam Rehabilitation Center of Moray. Assam Rifle personnel also participated in the drive holding placards which highlighted the usefulness of trees and the dependence of humans on the environment. To politicize on Juribam Tipai Muk JT Road is very unfortunate, said MLA of Juribam Muhammad Ashabuddin in an interaction with LE TV. Ashabuddin said that the JT Road is a common issue suffered by the people of Juribam. After the present BJP-led government, led government came into power, the Chief Minister and Concerned Work Minister gave much attention to the jury bomb and allotted the work on JT Road with a sanction amount of 114 crore rupees. According to the assurance of Concerned Minister, the work on JT Road may start from September, he added. In some parts of JT Road, some politician of Juribam tried to politicize the issue, which is very unfortunate as the JT Road is under the government. Ashabuddin further said that he may be an MLA, but he cannot do anything on his own will. The matter needs to be discussed with departmental engineer and departmental concern. Just putting one or two loads of stone on the road and trying to gain the popularity seems to be a lack of knowledge for work ex execution. He also assured the problem of JT Road will be solved very soon under the vision of Chief Minister and Work Minister of Manipur. Regarding the COVID pandemic, he said Rs 30 lakhs has been sanctioned from MLA Fund. With the funds, relief was provided to the people in the containment zone as well as two COVID care centres was also opened in Jiribam district. Two vehicles were also arranged for mass COVID vaccinations starting today, he added. On queries regarding four-year development at Jiribam during his tenure, Ashabuddin said a block office was constructed at Borobekra subdivision of Jiribam district as well as an SDO office and official quarter is also under progress, which will ease official work difficulties of Borobekra subdivision people. He also sought more attention of the Chief Minister and Work Minister of Manipur for the all-round development of Jiribam. Arriba. Official official CDM Manipur Congress leader and current vice president of MPCC, MLA N. Lokin Singh, has been appointed as the interim president of the Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee. The notification of MLA N. Lokin's appointment as Manipur Congress interim president was issued by the AICC on Saturday. He was appointed as the Manipur Congress interim president after resignation of Govindas Kontaujam from the post, following which speculations were made that he, along with seven to eight other MLAs, are likely to join the ruling BJP. However, AICC leader and Manipur Congress in charge Bhakta Charandas has previously stated that no Congress MLA has left the party in the state. It's time for another short break. Stay tuned for more updates. I 
Welcome back. Let's continue with the news. Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sharma said that both the states of Assam and Meghalaya should be ready to adopt a policy of give and take in order to resolve the decades-long decades -long border issue between the two states. He also informed that he, along with Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad Sangma, will visit the disputed interstate border areas and find out the facts on ground before reaching a conclusion. Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sharma and his Meghalaya counterpart Conrad Sangma had already sat for discussions on the boundary issue on July 23. In the meeting, Meghalaya and Assam decided to put in their best efforts to resolve the decades-long interstate boundary dispute. Both the states have come to an understanding that through the existing state of affairs will be maintained in these those areas. Both the states need to travel beyond that and solve the disputed areas one by one, as it may not be possible to solve all at one time, the Assam chief minister said. Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad Sangma said the kind of interest shown by Assam and Meghalaya as well as the desire of the central government will make this issue resolved amicably. A delegation of the Congress's Assam unit led by Rajya Sabha MP Ripun Bora submitted a memorandum to Governor Jagdish Mukhi demanding a Supreme Court monitor judicial probe over the allegation of Pegasus snooping yesterday. The memorandum addressed to Pre President Ram Nath Kovin was submitted to Mukhi at the Raj Bhavan in Guwahati. This illegal surveillance using the spyware against the opposition leaders, constitutional authorities, journalists and others is an attack on Indian democracy and violation of right to privacy, Bora said. The Congress demanded a Supreme Court monitor judicial inquiry to find out the role of government officials involved, Bora said. He also demanded action against all such officials found involved in the illegal surveillance. Indian Railways delivered medical oxygen to Bangladesh amid the COVID-19 pandemic yesterday as a part of India's Neighbourhood First policy. External Affairs Minister EMEAS Jay Shankar informed about the delivery through a tweet on his official Twitter which said, Neighbourhood First delivers again. Oxygen Express from India arrives in Bangladesh. India Railways delivered 200 metric tons of liquid medical oxygen to Bangladesh in 10 containers via the Oxygen Express for the first time ever. In an official statement, the Ministry of Railways said that this is the first time that the Oxygen Express is put into operation in a neighbouring country, country as India's Indian Railways Oxygen Express is set to embark on its journey to Bangladesh. It may be noted that Oxygen Expresses were started by Indian Railways on April 24, 2021 to provide relief to Indian states requiring medical oxygen. More than 35,000 metric tons of liquid medical, medical oxygen was transported to 15 states. Around 480 Oxygen Expresses were operationalized, it added. Oxygen Express trains have delivered more than 30,000 metric tons of liquid medical oxygen to states and union territories so far across the country. Typhoon Infa made landfall in the city of Zhoushan in China at 12.30 local time today, state media reported. Flights and train services have been suspended while people have been ordered to stay indoors. Disruptive winds, rough seas and flooding are expected. Meanwhile, dozens of ships have been evacuated from a busy port south of Shanghai. The typhoon follows a period of historic flooding that caused widespread damage and killed at least 58 people in central China. 
Emergency crew is still working around the clock to rescue survivors and provide aid to the tens of millions of people affected by the floods, according to sources. Typhoon Infa could bring more torrential downpours to the stricken region in the coming days, and officials fear it could hamper rescue and recovery efforts. The typhoon reportedly has wind speeds of up to 137 kilometers per hour, according to Reuters news agency. Let's take a look at the headlines once again. Mary Combe enters Olympic pre quarters. Youth Affairs and Sports Minister congratulates Mary Combe on winning her first bout. Thawal Commando arrested two individuals along with contraband drugs. Typhoon Infa made landfall in the city of Yushan in China. That's all we have for today. Thank you for watching LETV English News. Stay safe and have a good night.